Okay, so uh, today uh, I'm going to talk about solid state RF energy. At NXP, we've made some major breakthroughs in uh, LDMOS performance. That's uh, enabling uh, a solid state solution like an LDMOS transistor to replace a magnetron. So if you look at this diagram, we all know the traditional use of uh, RF. It's used uh, some sort of signal conditioning, an amplifier, an antenna, and it's used to transmit uh, data over large distances. Well, when you talk about RF energy, the fundamental architecture stays the same. So you still have a signal conditioning, you have a, an amplifier, but now you're putting RF energy into an enclosed chamber to heat an object. It can be food, it could be uh, a cancer cell of, of, of a probe. But the whole thing is the same, but the fundamentals of how you use the energy you're changing. And this is a major breakthrough in, the, in, the, in this world because if, with solid state, you get a lot of control that basically doesn't exist with a, with a magnetron. So some examples of this are, uh, for example, here we have uh, a solid state cooker. And what we have is we have uh, an RF power amplifier. This is an example of one. So we have uh, LDMOS transistors, 250 watts, combined giving around 500 watts. And uh, you basically then have a, a connector where you put the uh, cable on. And this goes, cable comes here and goes to your antenna or your microwave, in this case a microwave guide. And basically what we're doing here is we have a set of uh, a PCB board with LED lamps that are basically measuring the, the electric field in the X, Y and Z direction. So every time they sense energy, they light up. And what we do then is we scan the, the frequency. And what you can see is sometimes you have the lamps really, really bright. Sometimes they're dark. It's basically showing that by, by tuning the, or scanning the frequency, we can control the amount of energy delivered. And that's, that's the control element of it. Another nice thing about these systems is that we can also uh, control the power level. Uh, we can optimize in certain frequencies for return loss. And at the end of the day, if you look at the energy that's going in here and being absorbed, we have a, a sort of what we call a, a, an efficiency meter. And you see that all the energy that's being delivered into the system is between 90 and 100 uh, percent. And that's a big deal. So that's really, really the, the fundamental of it is, um, whereas Magnetron is a single frequency, brute force uh, power, power delivery. This here we have uh, controlled uh, energy with frequency control, phase control, and, and even power control. And uh, what we're trying to do is embrace uh, new applications and get this into the hands of uh, people out there that want to start using this. Another example of solid state RF energy is uh, a plasma lamp. So this is in fact uh, a plasma lamp made by a company called uh, Topanga. And basically what we have here is we have a quartz tube with some metal halides. And basically what we do is we, we send RF energy, uh, resonate that in the quartz tube, and that gives off the most beautiful uh, white light you've ever seen. In fact, this lamp here is giving off 20,000 lumens from a, a very small uh, spot source. Again, everything driven from an RF uh, power amplifier into this quartz tube. And uh, this is a, a very fine example of RF energy that's actually shipping in the market today.